All right. Welcome to another episode of Shoponomics. Welcome. My name is Matt, and this is... Daniel over here. Yeah, we are from eMarketed, and this is our pretty much weekly show on e-commerce marketing, and we go yeah. through um, websites and review them, and we have guests on, and basically find out how to optimize your website for selling products. So um, yeah, today we thought we'd try something a little bit different before we jump right into it. Maybe a little little chit chat before we. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had a birthday uh, this past weekend. Yeah, it was my birthday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, birthday. yeah two days ago, I turned 48 and uh, <laughs> went to the beach and hung out on the beach. I think that might be my new birthday. Uh, yeah birthday routine I, literally i sat on the sand for six or seven hours wow. under an umbrella it was it was, was it amazing. nice uh, nice weather this weekend yeah weather was perfect it was like low 80s yeah not too hot not too cold um so nice yeah very nice um yeah it's funny we it took us about 20 minutes to even get this podcast app running and we i think we narrowed down the problem to this um, earpiece right here, which is from a company that we're going to do this episode on called Poly. <laughs> and it's used to be Plantronics and they, I don't know when they switched over to Poly, but um, yeah, we were, Dan, I could hear Daniel. He couldn't hear me. We rebooted Chrome and, you know, <laughs> tried everything. Tried everything. Yep. And then finally narrowed it down to, um, to this piece. And so I have right now, I'm Daniel's hearing me through this, but I'm hearing him through my speaker on my laptop so um tech is not perfect yet you'd think no, by now no, we would have a huh not at all yeah lots of debugging to get this thing going today yeah yeah you'd think with by now the bluetooth would just everything would just sync perfect you know <laughs> <laughs> so no there yeah it seems like the problems are kind of never ending even with the new you know as new technology is introduced it's just kind of more of the same 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 issues rebooting is just about always the the best remedy right um, right no matter what it is like have you unplugged it and plugged it back in yet like that's yes <laughs> that seems to be the like probably 90 percent of the time somebody right yeah not that working, usually... that's almost always the fix yeah yeah it's whenever anybody ever asks me for tech support i'm like have you turned it off <laughs> restart that's that's yes. that's all i got for you <laughs> <laughs> and so folks just i mean you can watch this um uh, best on spotify um, or youtube so you can see our lovely faces and as we go through the screens of various um, websites and tools that we'll talk about we'll go through um so it's best to watch but um and normally i just want to know let you guys let everyone know do not dress up for these podcasts but today i had a potential i had a business meeting so i put on the collar shirt and uh, yeah i was wondering about the collared shirt you know, it's funny though. They actually, they uh, the client called me uh, an hour before, and they're like, "We're just going to do phone instead." So I'm like, "Well, uh, you know, I'll, I'll dress, dress up for nothing. I'll keep the dress shirt on for the podcast." <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, well, let's uh, jump into it. Um, so, yeah, today is this is a, I think for both Daniel and I um, first we've heard of Polly. So yeah, I'd be yeah. curious to learn a little more like when they did the or why they did the kind of the big name change so it was plantronics before and they switched to poly which is definitely kind of a hipper yep. uh, sounding name and they're definitely geared towards maybe it was during covid that they decided to change this because all their products are very you know kind of team-based and video and work you know and earpieces and headsets and yeah. so yeah that i mean plant it was plant Tronics, right? Or plant tronics? Plant tronics? What, when I read it, I thought it was like plant. It had something to do with plants. I would have never guessed like your pieces. So, <laughs> right. I mean, not that I get that from Polly at all, but it's, you know, it doesn't have me thinking of something else entirely. Yeah, right. No, definitely. Yeah, I mean, the Ronics, I mean, it was probably, a, maybe they came up with it 20 years ago and that, like, that term <laughs> was more <laughs> cool. Yeah, shoponomics. Shoponomics, right, right. <laughs> I did want to point in before point out the similarity and, and not that I feel like most people going to Polly would not see the similarity, but that logo, the Polly logo definitely first thing I thought of was HubSpot. So HubSpot's a marketing tool that we've 
we've come across over the years and I've used their CRM at various points in running e-marketed, but um, yeah, if the similarities between those logos and the qu same, almost same exact orange was um, yep. something that it reminded me of, but I feel like for most people visiting the poly sites, um, but who knows, maybe if poly is definitely catered towards a lot of businesses, a lot of businesses are using HubSpot, but HubSpot is kind of more of the, let's say smaller to, Yes. medium sized businesses so maybe that's not their target market anyways i just wanted to point that out yep. uh, but yeah i guess let's jump into their websites um so yeah typically we look at e-commerce websites today this website is a mix of both e-commerce and just kind of you know showcasing their products and so um i guess we'll start with the home page and then we'll jump into their shop but um yeah right off the bat we're seeing a couple different pop-ups i like i did like the one on the right, welcome to our site, and it kind of talks about, you know, do you need help with these different areas? That's yep. kind of cool. Don't see that. Yeah, that I'm going to start closing these actually so I can navigate all around a little bit. So at the very bottom, we've got the cookie, the kind of standard uh, GDRP cookie acceptance uh, pop up. So that's become standard over the last three or four years. I'm um, going to go ahead and accept that. Um, whoa, and then everything closed just from oh. accepting that. Oh, that, well, there it's. <laughs> But then this is, this pop up is coming back. So this is like the uh, the chat uh, feature. Um, it looks like AI, AI um, driven chat. Feature. It does say at the bottom of that tool. What's it? What's it? What's the company powering that? Qualified. Qualified. Conversational okay. marketing. Yeah. So I've heard of that before. Yeah. It's uh, visually it's fine. Um, that I mean I feel like right now it's okay. But when the page first loaded and there was the bar across the oh. bottom and the pop up in the middle for the survey, mm -hmm. and then I feel like there might have been something up top too, but it just seemed like too much before I can do anything, I've got to close all these windows. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, so now I'm uh, now this feels much more manageable <laughs> mm -hmm. and I can actually look at the website. Um, oh, and look at the top, we find out that Polly has been purchased by HP. <laughs> wow, another another uh, acquisition. That, pro that probably is what happened to Plantronics, and now it's always a bigger fish. Right. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if they did the rebrand, and then that that was what, and then they were all planning to kind of sell to HP. Who knows? But um, yeah, I guess on first impressions, other than all the pop-ups, too much overkill. <laughs> Microsoft. I mean, they're definitely. I mean, having Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows. Um, very Microsoft heavy right there in the tech. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that could have been a little more generalized. So it's not to scare anyone in a way, but um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, The I mean, it's, they have the announcement bar up there at the top. That's fairly standard for just about every website these days, but especially e-commerce websites um, with different sales offers and things like that. But this is, this is some, uh, news about the company and then underneath that the header is very simple um you know the uh the navigation although <laughs> just accidentally hovered over it and um, got a much larger pretty large menu here with mm -hmm. some mega menus it looks um, like hover over products again it looks like there was some little overlap um it looks like the title of that image over the product is Yep, yep. It breaks to a break. uh, second line here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's hard. It's hard to um, you know like responsive, adaptive uh, design to get things to line up 100% of the time. <laughs> yeah. Also not perfect. Just like <laughs> Bluetooth yeah. And yeah. devices. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I like I like the simplicity of it as far as you know, just big text, all caps for the main kind of navigation, mm -hmm. main categories. And then, I mean, the hovers, it's really, loads really fast. Um, also the main yeah. tab is just, it's only five items. I like that product solutions, shop yep. support contact. Yeah, it really jumped it. I feel like it, it the menu jumps really fast. Like it was abrupt um, mm -hmm. for me. Maybe it just does the, the slightest transition uh, would be helpful there. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. It just feels. Right. You're right. Me, it is like boom. <laughs> yeah, it feels very harsh for some mm -hmm. reason, and maybe it's just because it's like bright white. Um, but it feels. It just. It it uh, gets your attention at the very least. 
Mm -hmm. but I first came across it. I wasn't intending to like hover over the menu. Um, and so it just, I'm moving the mouse and all of a sudden a giant white, you know, screen appears. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was, it was a little bit harsh. I, I think, a uh, you know, even a subtle transition there might, might help just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, and it goes away, it goes away just as quickly as it came. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And that's, I feel like a little, a little in transition, a little out transition just to, um, just so it's not so sharp. Mm -hmm. Would be good. Yep. But overall, I like it. I like the aesthetics uh, of the site. I like the blue. I like the little gradient uh, under the custom icons below mm -hmm. the hero. Mm -hmm. um, there's a, just a slight radial gradient there on that blue um, that I like. Um, again, custom icons. So it's nice, you know, that it's not always the same thing that everybody else is using. It looks very specific to their uh, offerings. Yep. I like that too, because it's like, boom, right off the bat, you know, if I'm scrolling, I'm not quite sure what I'm looking for. I mean, those are kind of their main products mm -hmm. and I don't even have to scroll and I can click into headsets or video conferencing. So it's yep. just real quick within seconds, I give the user exactly what they're looking for. So I, services one, it's a little vague and it's probably harder to <laughs> do that. I might've, but anyways, that's a good breakdown right. of, of their products. Yeah, yeah. And I think sometimes you see full screen hero uh, areas on websites. Um, and I do like when websites compact that to make it a little shorter so you can see some additional content below the uh, the large area. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I appreciate that here. Let's talk about that image really quick. I mean, I, I think we both liked it on, you know, on first impressions. Mm -hmm. But now that I think about it, it's like, why didn't they have some people in it? You know, I mean, a couple, like three or four at the table and some people on screen. I mean, it just kind of like, okay. I mean, I guess without people, it really pulls in your attention to the screens and the device device on the table. Sure. So I could see that people might just detract from it possibly, but. Yeah, I are there, I guess, is that like a camera on the, in, on the TVs up there? I mean, it's, what is their product there? That's not their, there right with an ipad there isn't it or is that is that there i think that's display? part of their video conferencing you know that okay. so we've got the camera up there and basically using their tools yeah and that yeah. whatever tablet it's gonna it's pretty subtle because it could be i mean the camera on top of the tvs looks unlike things that i'm used to seeing mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but the tablet could just be like an ipad or you know a, mm -hmm. uh, some any any old tablet um, so it's it's unclear, you know, what their products are from from this photo to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. I do like the wall though. Yeah, the, the lined wall. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice wall. Where'd they get that done? <laughs> so this one, I like this image a lot because it's showing the product being used. Somebody on a computer. And, you know, we've got the camera on top. You can even see the that logo, is the that most camera. massive camera. It, it looks almost like uh, you're right. It is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> what is all that space being used? I mean, I mean, what, I guess it's a bar, like a music bar, maybe too. Okay, or, the audio is right. coming out of there too. I mean, bass. You got big, you know, speakers. Yeah, <laughs> you're right though. It's massive. It's like almost. It's, yeah, it's gonna it take off. And also this setup. It's like it's it's. It's supposed to be modern, but then we've got the mouse with the cord and the even the keyboard with the cord. Like if I was shooting that photo, I would have like just, you know, why yep. uh, those cords are kind of <laughs> it distracts you um, and doesn't look modern. You know, like was this shot in the mm -hmm. ten years ago? <laughs> Anyways, enough about the photo shoot. Um, All right, we're getting down into some products now, so we can see here's the bar. So. Um... Camera experience. I'm not seeing anything about audio here. That's okay. interesting. I want to learn more. Is there audio? Like, there's got to be some kind of audio on this. It's so big. Yeah. Um, camera. Video bar. Yeah, speaker. Powerful mm -hmm. speaker. Yep. Uh, filters out background. So, yeah, that makes that makes sense. If if you don't have if nobody has to use. Um, 
you know, headsets or, or mics or anything like that, that, hmm. that does make sense. Yeah. See, in this picture right here, this is a good one. I mean, this yes. could have been used on the homepage and, you know, yep. it's showing somebody remote, somebody in the office using their tool. Um, so. Yeah, I like their, um, I like the color. I do. I wonder a little bit about ADA accessibility. With, yeah, accessibility, just a little bit. I mean, it's. Um, yeah, the I white text. Know. It's it yeah, is a little hard yeah. to read. So that that's a, a little bit of a concern. Um, even the even the orange text over like the hair, for instance, in the mm -hmm. picture, mm -hmm. um, could be there could be some accessibility issues there. So. They do have a slight um, transparency over the photo um, and overlay, um, but that it may not be enough to make it ADA compliant. Yep, yep. And you know, if, I mean, if they made it like ten or fifteen percent darker, you know, you would uh, you'd be able to read the text and you'd still be able to see the image just fine and understand what they're trying to show you. Yeah. So. Yeah, no, I mean, it, we've seen a lot worse, but it, this looks like it, you know, it's probably borderline whether it's compliant. Yeah. Um, so one thing about is, colors too, so they've got that orange, which is their logo, which is the buy now buttons, which is the kind of standard out like hero text or headings. Um, so often we'll recommend kind of having one color that's not used, you know, the orange is just, there's so much orange. So it just, yes. it all kind of, even orange for that chat icon at the bottom, mm -hmm. it just all catches your eyes. So there's not like one place that you focus in on. So yep. I'd like to see an alternate color, you know, to really kind of stand out. Yeah, this thing is massive. 4K resolution, all right. I mean, I've seen 4K on those little, just those little pop, yeah. you know, tiny little ones. I mean, I guess the speaker yeah, yeah. must be pretty. This is a good view. This is great here. This little diagram with the animation. Yeah, um, because great. This, this does a lot for like explaining what's back there. It's got, you know, a microphone and speaker, um, you know, little subs. <laughs> microphone yeah you're right yeah okay. three different microphones that is a great yeah. that is a great image great animation yep. and probably not that hard to pull off like you know as far as creating a custom animation for a product like this that mm -hmm. um something like this wouldn't be that hard to um you know to put together to to mm -hmm. design and yeah i mean it's this product that yeah so we're seeing the bottom now so we see all the uh, connectivity Mm -hmm. um, that it has, how it screws into the mount there. Um, yeah, this looks good. I like this product page. It has a lot of, you know, answers, a lot of the questions that I had just in my head upon seeing it. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so as we go into this next section, though, I'm a, it's a little unclear. Like it almost, this is software for the camera now, but it's not quite. You yeah. know, we've, what is this? So yeah, I'd feel like I need, this section here needs some kind of header saying this is introduction you know, yeah yeah some kind of introduction because now all of a sudden we're in this like what's this 87 percent like what are we looking at here yeah yeah these look like analytics uh for something and it's unclear what you might have analytics on mm -hmm. um and yeah if it's if 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 what we're looking at here are um software features that go along with i doubt that they go along with just this product i feel like that you it's a little odd to have, if they have this on every product page, that would be pretty odd. Right. Um, or is it like a related product? But yeah, it's it's not clear. Nope. All right, they got some logos for um, the different services they integrate with. More. Oh, GoTo. I haven't seen GoTo in forever. <laughs> I know, GoToMeeting, I'm surprised they- Oh are, yeah, I wonder if they, they took out the word meeting. It was- it, uh... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been ages since I thought of them. Yeah. Um, yeah, they used so to be a here, big player. Definitely, definitely. This this is just a repeat of that animated um, diagram with the details, more or less. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're kind of um, revisiting that. So we just saw that here um, mm -hmm. and here. Yep. And now they're replicating that information that they've already provided uh, here in a still graphic. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like this might have been better 
you know, accompanying this um, for non-JavaScript, um, you know, or, or browsers that aren't capable of rendering this animation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, like use the still image there uh, as opposed to showing it again uh, when right. we've already kind of provided that information. It just seems like replication. Mm -hmm. um, a big specification area, it appears. Um, yeah, so this one I saw and I was like thinking, I mean, they could have, you know, three columns for that. I mean, yeah, it's just a lot of, it's a lot of space there that yep. could be done better. It doesn't really need to be, um, you know, a drop down um, toggle. I like that you can like download that you, the data. That's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I like that you can download the PDF. You can compare it to other products. It, got, it has reviews here. Um, you know, with uh, customer generated content. And from the reviews that we, when we reviewed, we'll jump into it in a second, but built, do we know if the reviews is powered by? Bizarre Voice. Bizarre Voice. Okay, so yep. Bizarre Voice integrates with, you know, Best Buy and all the different places where you might buy yep. this, brings in the reviews, and then they get to kind of select um, which yep. reviews they want to show. I was on a product earlier um, before we got on, and it was, it had, I don't know, three out of five stars. And I was like, oh man, why'd they, <laughs> yeah. why'd they let those in? Yeah, three out of five. I mean, four out of five, yeah, I could see, but yeah, three out yeah, of five. Yeah, but three out of five, I was like kind of surprised. Mm -hmm. All right, so we get, if I get down to uh, related products. Um, I feel like resources isn't something you typically see. Uh, yeah, the data sheet, I wonder how does that differ? from mm -hmm. the data sheet here. So we're seeing mm -hmm. data sheet download under specs. Mm -hmm. And then um, they have a whole section for resources with a video. So I guess some more um, yeah, technology here. What is this? Um, yeah, who knows? So I'll go back. Well, they've got resources. Mm -hmm. um, we had to be up around the bottom, right? Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So now we're down in the footer, uh, which we had on the home page, we navigated away pretty quickly. So, um, this is the first time seeing this footer, yeah, which I like. I like to connect with us today. They've got the different options, we've got chat, email, phone, find a partner. So, I like that. Yep, um, the image, yeah, I don't know, again, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like that could be a better image or just not an image there. I mean, we yeah. don't need to show somebody giving support. I mean, we get it. <laughs> it takes away from those icons. <laughs> yeah, we could line the like icons up in, you know, four columns instead of on two rows. Yeah, um, yep, have less to, space. Yep. That would help out. I mean, there's already a ton of stuff down here at the bottom. So yeah, let me go back to that home page. I think I navigated away right here. So, yep. Um, yeah, PolyLens insights to make you smarter. So this is that software that we were looking at that they showed the, um, the kind of graphic, the analytic, eighty-seven percent or whatever it was. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Yeah, unclear again yeah. Like what this is. It's just right, thrown for both. in here. The Poly Plus Two. It's yeah. It's not. I feel like right. For businesses that aren't familiar with them, it's like those both those headings and you know subheadings are not going to make entice people to click further. Yep, and then we get uh, we get Teams and Zoom. Um, there's a press release on Red Bull with a big video behind it. Um, uh, with the video, do we have any option to pause it? Or I think that was an accessibility thing too, right, Daniel? Was, like, no option to, to pause. No, it's 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 just auto playing. Yeah, so I think with something like that, you need to allow the user to pause it. I believe, right? Yep. No option to pause. And so it's, kind of like, okay, it's kind of annoying after a while. It's like, okay, I saw it spin once. It's like, <laughs> can I read the content with that? <laughs> right. False savings, so we get some sort of a deal down here um, for whatever their uh, uh, you know current offer is. So we see that here, and then we see the footer again. So this is a slightly this is just the bottom footer. Um, on the product page, there was an area above contact. Um, and... Yeah. 
a little larger footer there. But yeah, this looks, I like the footer. It's just a lot of information. Yeah. A lot of links. Yeah, a lot of links, definitely. I, I'm curious too about those emails in the footer. I mean, often a lot of sites that we build will have those as well. But I don't know. I mean, when was the last time you signed up for one of those emails? Like, I rarely sign up for an email at the bottom in the footer of a website. <laughs> Yeah, I think occasionally I'll be browsing a website that I'm planning on buying something from and it'll pop up with like save X. Yeah, so I'll do order. those for sure, but never in the yes. footer. Right, right. I will I can't remember the last time I signed up in a in a footer or in a header or sidebar for a email. Yeah, it's just so random. You're just you know, I don't wanna follow the company news necessarily. you know, yeah, I might want to get a percentage a discount off my purchase, but right. Uh, click the United States at the bottom. Is that a toggle? Okay. Yeah, yeah look at this. this. Yeah, we've got a lot of different countries here we could hop into. Yeah. Let's yeah. let's try one and see what happens. Does it take you to another subdomain or? Yeah, it's going to take you to well, not subdomain. It'll take you to a different folder structure though. Canada. Okay. Canada English. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so not using subdomains, they're using uh, you know directories for English and location. So there would probably be, I'm surprised there's not English Spanish up here. Um, like there's Canada English and Canada French. Mm -hmm. um, so like here now we're looking at Canada French and we see the CA directory and then the FR subdirectory. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whereas in, uh, United States was just the single single option there yeah so it's interesting toggling just between canada and united states like they use that image that we saw earlier with the you know that guy they use that one at the home page um oh that? wait maybe not let me go to maybe that was the french one let's yeah see. french yep okay there we go yeah so yeah so yep. we got this they decided here uh, let's use this one and not the microsoft teams one yep. maybe they're not maybe microsoft isn't Canadians are more personable, maybe? Yeah, yeah, possibly. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Americans are more sterile and static and empty conference room-ish. Uh-huh. <laughs> right, right. Who knows? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, and then there's a different image. Yes. Anyways. But they are showing different content. It's not the same mm -hmm. content exactly on the different yeah. sites. All right, well, let's look at uh, let's look under the under the hood. So we use a tool called Built With, and basically you can pop in a website and kind of see the different technologies, marketing tools that are used, kind of you know behind the scenes. So it's yeah. sometimes gives us some insight when we're doing some competitor research. And um, yeah, that's anything. Yeah, like we said, Bizarre Voice powers their reviews. So that's a pretty expensive tool. I think it starts out at like what 5000 a month or something to use or... something like that yeah there's a, mm -hmm. a minimum um in order to use their services and it's it gets pretty pricey so you have to be yep. a pretty well established yep. business to to use them um and adobe dynamic tag management um so that would be uh i, I believe they're a um, I, I haven't used it before but i, I believe it's a kind of a google analytics competitive uh, competitor Mm -hmm. um so um that going on um yeah lots, you can see the language lots of, lots of languages here so these are all the href uh tags for the various languages that they offer um yeah there's really not a whole lot um that stands out adobe experience manager uh for the content management system mm -hmm. um so that's that's interesting to see um, we see some various uh, social profiles that are linked. Um, but yeah, it's fairly minimal. Um, you know, trying to determine how the site was built, it does appear to be like a custom, um, a completely custom system here. Mm -hmm. um, I did look around in the code a little bit, and it does appear to be like a React uh, front end. Um, and yeah, I wonder if because we'll and we'll get to this in a second, but we found their speed to be pretty high. So I wonder if due to the fact that they they don't have so many things 
um, any so many scripts running. I wonder yeah. if that could be why. There's that's not there. a ton of marketing scripts on there, right? Yeah. Yeah, one of the things we didn't do was actually click into a product. Um, so let's see. Now I'm getting hit by all of these uh, pop-ups again. So let me take some of these items out of my cart. And well, we did look at the speaker product. <laughs> yeah, but not the actual. That was more like product information page. Oh, okay, got it. Got um, it. And this is like the actual, uh, like cart check. You know, like the the uh, catalog mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. interface. And so here we see, um, you know, the checkout. Interesting that they're um, these are add to order, so uh, some warranty, three year, one year. Um, oh, that's so. And we saw Poly Plus earlier, so maybe that's the Poly Plus is all about the yeah. kind of their warranty and support. Yeah, after. yeah, makes sense. Okay. All right, just yeah, diving into the cart page a little bit more. So with the custom uh, solution that this appears to be, um, it looks like they are using a service called Adyen for payment processing. So this is an interesting, uh, this was new to me. Uh, I haven't heard of them before. Uh, so I'm definitely going to dig in a little bit here um, after the podcast to see what they're all about. Yeah, yeah. I, I it vaguely sounded, I feel like I've heard the name before, but yeah, I mean, we definitely haven't used it for any of our uh, clients. Uh, one thing I found interesting, if you click over to the pricing page, was it? Um, so look at this page, it's pretty interesting that you can connect with all these different payment providers. So if you scroll down, I mean, there's like 7-Eleven, Malaysia, and I mean, just all of them, Alipay, mm -hmm. and you know, some big ones too that we've all heard of, but it was interesting that you yeah. have all these different options to you know, so yeah, like if you're, and all the like the kind of pay pay later options mm -hmm. were there as well. WeChat, you know. Um, so yeah, yeah, if you're in a market where credit cards are, you know, aren't that used by consumers, you've definitely got lots of options here to, yep. which I thought was neat. To I guess they've kind of bring in all these different options. Yeah, very interesting. Um, I see Speedwise, uh, we ran, ran them through GT Metrics this week. And um, uh, just to, the overall score isn't terrible. I mean, I feel like several of the, or maybe even the majority of sites that we've reviewed uh, get a pretty poor performance rating. And this one was 81% overall. Um, so 81%? Which... Shouldn't that be a B? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, the grades are getting tough these days. There. Yeah. Uh, at least a B minus. A B minus, right? Um, yeah. So that's. Um, I mean, we've looked at sites that are in the single digits, but I feel like most of them are below twenty five or thirty. Twenty five, thirty is probably average for what we mm -hmm. see. Um, so eighty one. That's a good, you know, pretty solid speed. It takes nine seconds for the page to be fully loaded. Um, the the one issue or the biggest issue is the uh, large file size of that video that we saw on the homepage. Um, so if we go back there, it was that uh, NASCAR or not NASCAR. That was a different, uh, you know, the racing video uh, that was being used on the homepage. So this video, which really doesn't, there's not a whole lot of value there. Um, you know, at least from a user's perspective, I don't think most users are getting anything out of this particular uh -huh. video, and that's taking up the vast majority of the, the, um, you know, the, the overall. It's taking it's over half the site uh, when the page loads. So right. Um, so it, I, you know, it would be worth probably switching that out just to make the site load faster for the uh, for the visitors. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, it, it might be it's, it might be kind of a temporary thing too. Um, True. But yeah, I think they could even just do a, a sh quicker video, optimize it a sure. little, have yeah. it be like two or three megabytes, and mm -hmm. still get the point. They're right. optimized. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, it's definitely important for you know, obviously for the user the end user wants a website that loads fast, but also you know if you're trying to rank organically. Um, it's important as well for, you know, one of the algorithm points that Google uses is speed. So we definitely mm -hmm. want to have a fast site. 
Yeah, let's see. The next uh, page I got up here is the uh, the social ads. So we're looking at Facebook right now or Meta. Um, and this is Polly's kind of ad history. Um, and so yeah, I, I like the aesthetics of the ads that they have. Um, so That's funny. That here. red looks, it looks more red here than on their website. The orange, I don't know if it's just your screen or. Yeah, it might be. I'm not seeing too much of a difference okay. there. Um, although in the, yeah, this, in the logo right here, it does appear a little muddy. Maybe it's like when the, the red is on a blue, it looks a little yeah. different. Um, but yeah, same big, bold, all caps text. Mm -hmm. I like I like that. It definitely catches your eye. You can quickly. Yeah, these are all, all videos here is what we're seeing, at least in the first batch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, video, video, video. Okay, here we have a different design. Um, you know, fall, fall savings. So... A lot of different. Um, these are all from like the last week or so, or I guess I guess this is this is this past week and then the week before that. So it looks like they're switching up roughly once a week. Mm -hmm. You know, as far as their cadence goes, um, and they're you know they look different. It doesn't look like always the same mm -hmm. uh, the same ad. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Although this last dispatch does. I mean, it's just a different person, but. Uh, I found too some of those were like questions, and I found it interesting that they didn't they weren't using question marks at the end, like what office collaborators need to succeed, or I guess it's more of a statement, but I feel like when I see what or how right you know. right <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do office communicators need to succeed yeah mm -hmm. yeah that's uh it's an interesting choice of words there, I think, yeah. But yeah, very pro. Um, you could tell they, you know, they didn't just kind of slap these together. <laughs> yeah, put a lot of thought into them. So if you scroll up to the very top, I found it interesting. Like some of those were, like the PolySync and PolyRove family, and then scroll down a little bit. Um, since Daniel and I had never heard of Poly, like using the name yep. like PolySync Ten, like for us, I'd be like, we, what is? It? We don't even know what this is. So right. Um, so yeah, you got to consider that people might not know your specific mm -hmm. product name, so it might be better to just kind of call it what it is. And yeah, and then going back to that rebranding, one thing I noticed: so we're on the Poly website, we see the Poly logo, but then the the copyright is Plantronics. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. um, so it's just like they, you know, there were some things that are left over. It's not quite clear what's what. Um, so there's a little bit of um, ambiguity in in the branding mm -hmm. uh, or in the brand and now that they're getting um picked up by hp is that that's just going to become more so I would further imagine. right yeah. <laughs> yeah um let's see so we looked at the ad library uh the other thing that we pulled up was a google search um just to kind of see where they're at um so we searched for noise canceling bluetooth headset because that's what matt has uh, that started this whole uh um exploration of the brand and um not i'm not seeing any of the uh, uh poly uh, products in the google shopping list here um and i had to scroll down about halfway through the page to roughly the 15th result to see um poly here um so it's not horrible um but you know, some people don't have a lot of patience. I feel like if you're not, um, you know, in the top few results organically for your keywords, that there's a good chance the majority of uh, consumers uh, don't have the patience to scroll through 20 Yeah, results definitely. Even. Especially a product like this. Like I'm not, I, if there are a bunch of shopping results, I'm looking at those, then I'm jumping over to Amazon. You know, I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not looking at organic, you know, if it's a product, like I'm, I want to buy this now. I'm, yeah. I'm looking at those. I would love to scroll over to the rock. Um, so it's interesting. These are all products. And then we've got the rock there, which really, really stands out. And it's like, I think that's pretty genius. Um, yeah. So he's obviously somebody that, you know, people know all over the world. And um, <laughs> so I love that. Yeah, the click-through rate on this is probably going to be pretty high compared to the other ones, I would imagine. Yeah, yep. 
So, and that one has, that's Under Armour. Uh, yep. Kind of reviews on that one too. Yeah. So, and look at the Best Buy. So the Best Buy too, they've got a sale and that the green text there, eighty nine ninety nine. that definitely stands out. Yep. So you got a sale that's going to definitely attract more eyes to it. Mm -hmm. For sure. So, all right. Well, I think we're at pretty much the 40 minute mark. So that's, uh, yeah. Yeah, everyone, thanks for listening. Um, yeah, stay tuned for, we're going to have some awesome guests coming up soon and we'll be going through more, re more website reviews as well. So um, yeah, please tell your friends and post on social, let everyone know about Shoponomics and um, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you. Thanks everyone.